that you know how to look for the Q triangle, let's do it. Well, right off the bat, we see one. Here's a six and a 23 and a 23. The six box is not going to be the Q. Do you know why? Because you're not going to find a Q word in the puzzle. If you look down verti vertically, you're not going to find a Q word that's only three letters. This could possibly, you can find a Q word that's five letters, but not three letters. Another way to test to make sure this is not the Q, you're gonna look for the number of occurrences of six. So if we scan the puzzle, I see lots of sixes. Here you see a six, six, a double six, a double six vertically and a double six horizontally. If six were a Q, that means this would be Q, 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 Q. So automatically we are going to eliminate the six, this triangle, the six, 23, 23 triangle as being the Q triangle. So let's keep looking. The way I do, I'm pretty systematic. I go down vertically and look for a triangle. So I start back up here at the top, 23, and I go down vertically, look for a triangle. Uh-oh, Eureka! Look, here's 14, 15, 15. A potential Q triangle. How am I going to test that? I'm gonna look at the 14 box and I'm going to scan the puzzle to see if I can find another 14. As I said, in these puzzles, you're usually going to find, especially at, we're at the beginning, you're going to find normally one Q. I don't see another 14. So I can confidently guess that this 14 is a Q. And it makes sense because if I look down horizontally, I've got several a long word that's going to have a Q almost in the middle. And horizontally, I'm going to have a word that has Q almost at the end. So I'm going to put in the this box here, 14 is a Q, and 15 is a U. But I want to show you something else. If we continue further in the puzzle, and it might, I'm going to show you some other boxes that could have the triangle, another triangle. Here's a triangle here, 10, 23, 23. That would not be the Q triangle because as I'm looking through the cup puzzle, I see a 10 followed by a seven. Well, it, if, it's, if this is a Q and it's followed by a 23, and if this is a Q and it's followed by a seven, that would not be a Q triangle because of Q is always followed by the U and it's gonna be consistent. So that would eliminate this uh, configuration from being the Q, U triangle. Plus look at number 23. There's so many 23s throughout the puzzle and you don't, you're not gonna have that many U's.